are you worried about the time that you're going to have to tell your kids what you do for a living? Do you plan on having like a sit down chat? Cause people always ask me, when did you find out what your parents did for a living? And I don't remember there ever being like this moment where they had to be like, okay, you know, sit me down. I think it was just this understanding that mom and dad made movies for grownups. Yeah. And that's kind of what it was. And then I don't know, I don't remember finding out, but it was never, it was never a big deal for me because my parents didn't make it a big deal. You know, so yeah, I think that's the way that we'll go back. Like, look, at the moment already, I get recognized quite a lot when I'm Mm. out. Um, especially when when I go back to the UK, for example, I'll I'll go to the to a football match and you know, there'll be thirty thousand people there and I probably stop maybe fifty, sixty odd times for pictures throughout, you know, at the ground with, you know, people and a lot of the time now I take my little boy and he's like, dad, why, why does he want your picture? Why is he? And I, and I, you know, he's too young to understand at the moment, but I just go, oh, daddy does some TV type work. And that's how I kind of pass it off at the moment. But I know it'll get to the stage where, you know, he'll be able to Google things. He'll be able to, you know, find things out. And, you know, kids are so smart these days. He's going to put my, my real name into, you know, Google search engine. It's going to pull up everything. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the difference. I didn't have internet when I was growing up as a kid. Yeah. So, and look, he's a little whiz kid now on YouTube and things like that. So look, he's going to, he's going to find these things out. I've just got to be honest with him. Look, th- this is what daddy's done to, to basically set you up for a good life. You've never wanted, you've always had nice clothes. You've had food on the table, holidays and, and things like that. And so you know, and we've we've always taught them, you know, right from wrong. And look, there's there's a lot worse careers out there. I could, I could be a drug dealer. I could be a bank robber. Things like that. Look, I'm doing something that gives other people pleasure. Um, I'm not hurting anybody in the process, and I'm providing a good living for my children. So for me, I I don't see a problem with that. Um, do I hide it from other parents? Yeah, I definitely. So over here. In America, I do not so much in the UK because, like I said, in the in the UK, everybody kind of knows what I do anyway. You know, I'm in the media a lot and and things like that. But over here, like our, our children go to like private school, and there's doctors and celebrities that go to the school, and it's like you kind of I just don't say anything. Like even like the the area that we live like you know we're all new neighbors oh hi what do you do and things like that and I just say I work in the internet just because I don't want any kind of discrimination against my children look my children are uh, uh, honest as the day come that they're you know they 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 didn't choose my career I chose it Mm. I don't want them being cast to one side because Oh look, his dad does porn. Oh, you, you're not going around there, you know, and things like that. And people have a real bad perception of the porn industry, no matter what. Even today, um, I think a lot of people still think, "Oh, it's seedy. It's you know, girls that have daddy issues, people taking advantage, and and things like that." And look, I'm not going to lie. There is instances where people do take advantage, and there is girls that come into the industry with um issues um but then again it's also helped a lot of girls escape from them issues and Mm. you know they've gone on to lead you know fantastic life and you know make a lot of money and great investments and you know they're happily married now with children and settle down it's you know it's it's one of them really yeah no i i agree and i understand exactly how you feel uh my parents same thing we just kind of didn't tell people what they did for and I remember like even when I was in elementary school and I knew what they did for a living but I couldn't really tell other people what they did mm-hmm. for a living we had this kind of cover story that my mom was a glamour photographer and she had done some mainstream stir- stuff so it always referenced that I remember in particular coming home with a school project and it was uh tell write about what your mom does for a living And I just remember like having this kind of look on my face in class and the teacher saying to me reassuringly, it's okay. Even if your mom works, you know, from home, even if your mom's a housewife, she still has a job. So just talk about what she does every day to take care of your family. And I was like, that's not the problem. And I had to bring it home and my dad had to help me write it out, you know, and come up and like 
talk about what she did for a living, but not really. So, and I remember once a kid, uh, somehow the word got out, I don't know. And a kid brought a penthouse magazine in where she had shot it and he's passing it around, telling everyone that it's my mom. And people got confused that it was my mom in the Southern fold, not the one who shot it. And the principal found it. And then they called me in and they called my, my mom in. And my mom said to him, she goes, oh, well, it's about time you guys had some decent reading material. <laughs> See, the English wit. The English yeah, wit. <laughs> exactly. You get away with a lot. But, um, I mean, we all turned out great. You know, my my brother and my sister, my sister's a nurse, my brother's a lawyer. Yeah. So, you know, they they I followed in my mom's footsteps, but they went on, you know, the straight and narrow. And I have such an incredibly close family and I've been so fortunate to grow up with amazing parents. And I know so many people whose parents have legitimate jobs that are doctors or nurses or whatever, and they had miserable childhoods mm. and they have a horrible family structure and their parents don't talk to each other and they fight all the time. So this whole idea that people who work in porn can't be responsible and loving parents, I think is so absurd. And you know, I just, I, I love talking to people like you about that because I think it's so important to dispel that. Yeah, it, it is. Like I said, for me, I separate. There's Kieran that's on set, but it's completely different, you know. Yep. When we're at home, it's, you know, okay, have you brushed your teeth? Have you done this? Yeah. That's how it is, you know. You just kind of go back to the values that you were taught growing up. And that's what, you know, me and my wife try and implement into the children today. And it's like... Listen, like my little boy gets absolutely scolded. If he if he doesn't use his P's and Q's and his manners, then, you know, it's, you know, I see a lot of people now with, you know, we're around people that have children, you know, they, they might be movie producers, doctors, and their kids are little shits. You know, mm -hmm. they've got no man, they, you know, they just take, 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 want, 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 scream and kick off. And we've been really blessed that our children aren't like that, but that's, you know, majority of it's down to Kate, um, mm -hmm. how she's brought the kids up. She's amazing, amazing, amazing mom. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I love this topic specifically now because I'm actually, so my big project, which is going to have to be in 2021 because of the baby that's coming, but I'm, I'm going to shoot a sizzle reel in the next couple months, is doing a documentary on my mom. So I've been pulling all these this archival footage from interviews that she did back right before I was born in the late seventies when she published her book. And there's this one interview in particular that was so interesting to me. So she went on a current affair in Australia mm -hmm. and the journalist, you know, and it's so it's interesting watching her do these, these interviews in the late seventies where misogyny just ran, run rampant. And, you know, people definitely weren't as open about sex work as they are today. And this journalist is asking her, and this is literally like a year before I was born. So she conceived me a couple of months after this interview and I'm the oldest. And he says to her, you know, do you have children? She goes, no, but you know, I would like children. And he just says in this really accusatory tone, what kind of mother are you going to be when you grow up? You know, considering what you do for a living, how are you going to raise your children? What kind of morals are you going to teach them? And she was kind of taken aback by it. And she was just like, well, what do you mean? I think I'd be a great mother. You know, I'm going to teach my children compassion and respect. And she's like, what else do you teach your children? And it was just this, this incredible moment where this guy's basically telling her, you're going to be a terrible mother because of the line of work that you do. And then I'm born almost, you know, like I said, like a year later and I had a wonderful childhood. She's a wonderful mother. And it's so, the, it's so interesting to watch that back as a grown adult now and just see how incredibly off base this journalist was just basing these assumptions on the stigma that people have against the adult industry. Yeah, it is crazy. Like, look, you've got so many other professions that, you know, they, they, they have children and then they don't care about their mm -hmm. children. They, they're just still fully focused on their careers and kind of put the children to one side. And then next thing you know, kids have gone off the rails. They're doing drugs. They're doing this and whatever. It's Look, a lot of movie stars, for example, mm -hmm. in the mainstream world, how many times do we see, you know, mainstream movie people that people look up to and go, wow, he, he's fantastic. What a great actress. And then they have children. And next thing you know, you, you're reading the news. Oh, 
they've just been found with possession of this they've just been drink driving and and things like that is look i don't care what industry you're in as long as you you know teach the basics to your kids and and teach them like you said compassion and how to treat other people well you'll be yeah fine. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.